All right, welcome to day two of the workshop. Uh, nice and chilly this morning. Um, <clears throat> uh, so in this session, we're going to be talking about uh, our vision for an open cloud. <clears throat> I'm John Stumpf, and I recently joined the MOC Alliance to help drive industry partnerships and collaboration. Um, I was recently at, with Two Sigma, where I ran infrastructure globally. Prior to that, I did the same thing at Johnson & Johnson, Moody's Corporation. Infrastructure has been pretty much a part of my life for the last two decades. <clears throat> and in this talk, I'm going to present our vision for an open cloud. So what are clouds today? You know, they're large, they're monolithic providers of services. You know, they're very capable, but they're in it to make money, lots of money. You know, they maximize revenue, they reduce expenses, and focus on those services that service the majority of the market. So it's difficult for small, innovative companies to, to break into that market. And there are also examples of the provider, these cloud providers, competing with the technology providers that are trying to break in, uh, particularly on the software side. And these environments are almost always all virtual, and so it's hard to optimize to the bare metal, you know, looking below that virtualization layer. So what do we mean by an open cloud? There are similarities to a commercial cloud. However, in an open cloud, we want to foster competition between the technology providers at all levels, so bare metal and up. The MOC Alliance will be an enabler, not a competitor to the providers, and our focus is on research and academia. Now, the MOC has been developing a vision for an open cloud to enable different groups to stand up cloud services in a level playing field and where the services can grow and shrink on demand, no different than the commercial clouds. But we want system researchers and de developers to be able to discover new issues and develop new services and have multiple data centers participate in this overall cloud, this open cloud. These capabilities are increasingly important as we look forward to expanding the MOC to address the needs of the AI Alliance and the National Artificial Intelligence Research resource there. Now, the MOC will provide the cloud under one operational model. It will enable providers to deliver the services and capabilities on which they want to conduct research and serve the broader community. The providers will deliver specific capabilities as they choose, where they choose, and the providers do not have to deliver the same capabilities in every location. It's where the market demand and where they feel that they can get the most uh, you know, uh, benefit for themselves. It's not a free service, and the technologies don't have to be open source. We encourage you to, but they don't have to be. So we believe robust competition at all layers maximizes innovation. And the MOC Alliance can provide real data from real users of the technologies at scale. This is unique for this kind of environment. So how does all this work? Multiple entities stand up uh, racks of computers in our facilities, and then computers that can be easily shifted between these workloads you know, are allocated to various services that are delivered as infrastructure as a service. And then higher order services are built on top and users consume those services at any layer across the multiple data centers. And our vision is that the cloud services can be operated by a common team across those multiple data centers, where if a user asks, say, for NERC, they will specify a location. And if there's enough demand, a service can be stood up in another data center at the, on the hardware there. Now, this is all real today. And in the talks that you're going to hear later in this session, they're, they're, we're going to be introducing the technologies that we use to make this happen. Um, we have over 1,000 data uh, computers in the uh, MGHBCC that are controlled uh, by technology and provide, there we go, uh, delivered via ESI. This is one of the technologies that allocates and provisions the physical resources so that we can build on top the, the services. 
And we have four production services on top of this. We have the Open Cloud Testbed. It's a, a national cloud testbed for system research. We have the NERC. Um, Scott and Wayne are operating at the OpenStack VM service and also operating an OpenShift container service. And then there's volume and object storage that are serving 150 petabytes of storage. Now we're really excited that we already have a high number of higher level services running and being deployed. They're all covered yesterday and OpenShift AI is an AI as a service offering and we want to have more involvement on this platform and we're hoping to draw the AI alliance to this. Chris was talked about earlier yesterday and the core business services to enable all of this is what the MOC Alliance is gonna provide. Things like user authentication, self-service allocation, and invoicing. This is one of the, the key things that was delivered recently that we can actually bill back for those uh, services that are being used. We have about 800 students in three courses that are using the platform every day and many researchers. Now we're very excited that Lenovo actually is one of our first providers in this new business paradigm where they're delivering hardware. We're not buying it. They're delivering hardware and they're charging it based on a consumption model. So they charge the MOC Alliance and then as our uh, researchers are using that equipment, we will then bill them to recover those costs. There are 64 NVIDIA GPUs in this particular stack, in this one transaction. And it demonstrates the idea of where we can have this level playing field at all levels. So even at the bare metal, we can have this kind of competition. Now our costs are very competitive. We're providing access to researchers, access to leading edge services and capabilities at more than half the cost for equivalent services. And as you can see here in the chart, as we scale this up, the costs go down. It's a, it's a very nice model. And we don't charge for data ingress or egress because all of those costs are already covered by various grants, um, or various research grants. So to sum up, our business model is to create an environment where research and academic users can deliver and consume new innovative technologies and services where the collaborative research is the goal, not profit. And we intend to duplicate this model across multiple data centers and we'll continue to encourage more technology vendors to participate. And we're planning to onboard even more research, you know, in particular the AI Alliance is very interested in hosting their work and encouraging their researchers in their alliance to run at the MOC. So in this session, we have a number of talks. In the first half, we're going to be uh, introducing the, the uh, Christie's going to be talking about the foundational services that we deliver and building of that. The second talk will be um, uh, men talking about ESI, where we are and how it works. Open cloud hardware, uh, Naveed is going to present how uh, that is being delivered. We'll describe the available hardware at the MOC Alliance and the open cloud network the capabilities to manage entire topologies of elastic hardware across multiple institutions. And in the second half, we have the Cloud Lab on ESI, LSVD, and getting started with the Open Storage Network. So with that, any questions, um, happy to take them. Otherwise, we can move on to the next presenter. We actually have a couple of questions from the live stream. Okay. Uh, so Dwayne Branch has asked, is Open Cloud ready for implementation? And how does edge computing happen in this setup? So first question, the answer is yes. Open Cloud is ready for implementation. Um, in terms of edge, um, the way I think about edge would be just like other data centers. Um, but they're, they're there are different considerations, so I'd, I'd, I'd want to pull on that a little bit more. I don't have a clear answer. It, it'll depend on the, the different types of use cases they're talking about and how big is the edge. I mean, are we talking about a branch office or are we talking about just a smaller data center? If it's a smaller data center, then the answer is the same. It's, that, that's how we would, we would just extend the open cloud to the multiple data centers. But if it's 
much smaller, then there's different considerations to make. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Um, with that, I'll bring Christy up to the stage.